Why would you start from scratch when it's so simple to use PLR content? Hey there, it's Richard Butler here, Director of Education at PLR.me. One question I hear a lot is, how do I change the content so it's not the same as somebody else's content? Or sometimes the question is, I don't know what to do with your content. Now, I love the honesty of that last question, and it is something that many people either ask or are afraid to ask. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the content and transform it into something unique using a very simple process. Now, before we get into the video, if this is your first time here, well, welcome. It's great to see you. Make sure that you click that subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you're the first to know about our free training videos. You know, sometimes I think our articles never really fulfill their full potential. I mean, these little guys have so much to give, but many people just think of them as a simple blog post or an article. And they can be so much more, and you'll see how in this and other videos. Let me tell you what I decided to do to show that any article could be used by nearly any niche and in so many ways. I decided to look for something a little bit different than what my niche would normally use. Oh, what's my niche? Well, it's English language mentoring. It's just one of my niches. And I looked into the PLR.me resource library and found this article, Top 10 Motivational Affirmations. I mean, this will work great with my personal development, coaching clients, but could it be possible to actually use this with my English mentoring clients? I mean, like they're all executives and managers and not into woo woo stuff. Well, challenge accepted. Now let's move over to the computer and I'm gonna show you the process that I use. So here we are at the computer and the first thing I did was I opened up the original document from PLR.me and you'll see it's top 10 motivational affirmations and it is very much a self-help document. But I wanted to change this into something that my audience of English mentoring students would actually appreciate and would actually help them because obviously that's important. I want to make sure that I help them in their journey to speak more confidently. Now, the first thing I wanted to make sure is that I had a good definition of who my market were. You know, I knew that from having taught in this market for many, many years, that these were people who had reached like a plateau in their English learning and they didn't know how to go to the next level because, well, they had certain pain points. So then I wanted to identify what the pain points were for these students um, and what exactly were they struggling with. I then read through the article to get a very good feel for the article, to know what it was about, to know the language that was being used. And one of the things that I that I realized, and as um, somebody who has learned a second language, is that sometimes we lack confidence when we speak because we have this like voice in our head that is subconsciously telling us that we're not going to speak correctly or we're going to make a mistake or we're just going to mess up in general. So reading through the article a second time, I looked at the first sentence and I went, boom, that's exactly what I need. Let's have a look. Are your negative internal dialogues keeping you from doing the things that you want to do? Bam, that is just what is happening to a lot of my students, that they're not feeling confident in moving to the next level of speaking out at meetings, maybe going to a job interview because they just don't have the confidence. So how could this article help them? Well. I went over and I started to write up some headings that I thought were important. So before I actually started writing, I took the original article title and then I made three headings, target market challenges and new article titles. So let me show you what I came up with. So I filled in the details and my target market, Spanish speakers who have a B1 to C1 level English, but struggle with confidence. So that means that they're upper intermediate to advanced students. And what are the challenges? Well, a lack of confidence in speaking to natives. Happens to me in Spanish. Never remembering the right structures or tenses. Happens to me in Spanish. I talk about something that I did in the future. And people look at me. Translating from Spanish to English. This is a huge issue that when you become fluent in the language, you think in the language and you don't translate. And another challenge that they had was afraid to take a chance. So I knew my target market, I knew the challenges. Now I wanted to make this article not sound a little bit woo-woo. <laughs> 
I love self-development and I love woo-woo stuff, but you know as much as I do that sometimes, depending on the market that you're dealing with, you have to slightly change the content so that it doesn't sound too woo-woo. It seems to be the phrase of the video. So the new article titles I came up with, these had to be catchy and hook people in. 10 phrases that will change how you speak English. 10 simple phrases that will improve your English. Become more confident in English with these 10 phrases. 10 phrases to be a more confident English speaker. And I couldn't think of a, a fifth one here, so let me get rid of that bullet point. So the idea here was, it was not 10 affirmations to make you a better English speaker. No, no, no. It was 10 phrases that are gonna help you. So I don't know what these phrases are as a, as a reader, but I'm quite intrigued. Now I decided I would rewrite the article. So I went back to the original article, I have it here. I read it again, and then I wrote from the heart. I wrote from my experiences. So the article looks nothing like the original, but all the ideas are there, okay? Now remember, the more you write from the heart, the better. And PLR.me is there to help you just write faster and give you the ideas to get you going. So this is the article that I wrote and I decided to go with the title 10 phrases that will change how you speak English. That is going to catch my attention because I'm thinking, well, what are these 10 phrases? So I wrote out the article and then I added a little bit of bolding. OK, I know the struggles. You don't mind making mistakes. A few bullet points, um, a few headings here. OK, now then I started to introduce about positive affirmations and then I said, these are the 10 affirmations that you're going to use. I'm comfortable speaking English. I may not have a native accent, but I speak clearly. Let's just go back and look at the affirmations. Well, they are completely different. But this is the beauty of the PLR.me content, that I was able to use it to spark my imagination and to get the creative juices flowing. So then I thought, well, why not make this a little bit more personal? And I'll put a picture in of myself. But I still wasn't happy. so. I went in and I decided let's make this into two columns. So this is really easy to do. And remember, actually, well, remember, no, I forgot to tell you, I'm just using Google Docs here. I'm not using any special um, programs. I'm not using Word. I'm not using Pages, which of course I could, but I'm just using Google Docs, which is free. So I went to Format, I went to Columns, and I said, put this into two columns. So now it looks a lot more interesting. Now it looks like upper article. Can I, can I say that? And the last thing that I did down here was I put in a call to action. Okay. Now that you've read this, now that you know how to feel a little bit more confident, why not go and test your level? This is a lead generation tool because they must register their name and email address. So what was the purpose of the article? To educate, but also as a lead generation tool. If I'm honest with you, the whole process probably took about 45 minutes from reading the article uh, coming up with my ideas, writing from the heart, and then doing a little bit of formatting. But if I had to write this whole article from scratch without the help of PLR.me, it probably would have taken me days. Or in fact, I probably would never have done it. So you see how you can take the article and change it completely. Now, um, I forgot one very important thing. If you're enjoying this video and you've watched it to this point, well then I think you should give us a like, you should subscribe to the channel, and you should ask any questions that you may have below that uh, I will, of course, answer for you. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how I took this article and actually made a video about it. Sounds interesting, right? All right, see you in the next video.